It's me, Undead Viking. I'm here to talk to you about this awesome game called The Networks. And this is from uh, Gil Hoba, a guy that has designed a few games that I've done reviews for that I've really enjoyed a great deal. And it's a pretty nice guy as well. Uh, this is a game about uh, creating your own TV network, as you can probably guess by the networks. And each person is, is running a network and they're trying to get the best possible shows into their prime time slots, 8, 9, and 10 o'clock. I'm guessing it's Eastern Time, Central Time, I don't know. Gil, I think, is from uh, New York, so that's, I'm guessing he's going with Eastern Time in that situation. Uh, but what uh, the game is about is about landing really good shows, uh, giving those shows star power and attaching uh, advertisements to those shows to make you money, and then knowing when it is time to cancel that show, when it's run its course, and then uh, uh, you know, replacing it with some fresh, new, uh, exciting <laughs> show that's going to maintain your viewers and, and keep your viewership up in your network. And, um, like, viewers is like the points of the game. So whoever, after five seasons, five years of TV, uh, has the most viewers uh, will then be the the winner because they've scored the most points if you will so um this is a very very heavy card based game um so you basically you're drafting cards and using them and and, and using those to build up uh, your your network empire um and it's got some you know it's basically multiple actions in and going around the table and each person taking one but i'm stepping into the path of of, of the actual how to play the game so why don't i just show you how to play the game and then we'll come back here and i'll tell you more uh, about uh why i dig uh, the networks all right awesome what you are looking at here is uh, the networks and whereas this does look very crowded when you're going to play this at home uh, it will not look this crowded I had to cram everything together just so you can actually see uh, everything that you're going to be using when you play the game and so I'm going to kind of go through everything that you see and then I'm going to show you how to play so uh, to begin with uh, everybody's going to have one of these it's your player board and on your player board you're going to have uh, some definitive things I'm just going to remove Move this really quick so you can kind of see it. Um, as with any good player board, it is going to give you all the different options and all the different actions that you can take. And you're going to notice that it has this spot for an 8 p.m., a 9 p.m., and a 10 p.m. show. And that's what these are. You get starting shows that are horrible and aren't any good, and you just kind of slot them into the places, doesn't matter where, and then you go from there. Over here, you have a green room. Uh, the green room is where you keep any actors and any ads uh, that you uh, have that you haven't applied to a, uh, a show yet. And so they stay in the green room until that happens. Uh, the reruns area is after your show uh, has been canceled, and you will cancel out your shows. Um, you will put them over into the reruns because basically they're getting obviously rerun, and so they they can still actually uh, gain you viewership uh, and score you a few more points before they finally go into the archives. And the archives are important because um, if you can actually get uh, several shows of the same genre, you can gain bonus points and bonus uh, actions uh, because of that. Um, and like. I'll explain all that when we get to that part. So, anyway, so you're going to get started with those three. You're going to go ahead and set up your three shows. And just these are the basic shows that you begin with. You can see it even says, like, starting show on the back here. And so, like, it's like, name that stain. And it, this is, like, the type of show. It's like a sports show. And you can see that it has no viewers. It's not going to gain you any points at the end of the turn. But if it ever goes into reruns, it's worth one in the reruns. So, like, you know, so if this one eventually went to the reruns, you flip it over to show that it's going to gain you like one viewership point you know and the viewerships are the viewers the viewers is like the points of the game so that's your basic playing board and we'll get back to that obviously we'll be using that uh, when we we show you all the different actions that you can take while you play the game um these three cards bigger cards here are the main player boards uh, main i should say main game boards that are uh, you're going to have the turn order, which is going to show you, you know, who goes first and what have you. You're going to have, you know, the different, uh, the seasons and the returns. So season one, two, three, four, five to the end. This is the scoring track that you'll be going through. Pretty straightforward. The one thing that happens 
is, you know, these are the discs that you're going to use to keep track of your score. At the beginning of the game, uh, you, you draw randomly to see who is the first player, and I'll just show you this. So when you place that on there, you get starting money equal to 5, 7, 9, or 11. So the last person gets $11, and so on and so forth. And you're going to use this side of the board for the first round. This one tells you how many cards you use for setup and so forth. But then as it says here, you flip it over, You'll flip it over like so, and then that'll be like that. And so you can see that the scoring actually goes all the way around in a big giant circle. Or square, or rectangle, I should say. So, or rhombus, if I wanted to get technical. So, let's go ahead and put that back on there like so. I don't remember what colors there were, but I'll just throw them down here. So, anyway, um, so... After you get the game set up and you have all the cards, you have your ads up here, you have your stars up there, stars for the shows, obviously. These are the network cards. Network cards are cards that you get that basically break the rules in some way. Like I said, I'm going to show you what all these do and what all these have when we get to the actual actions that you take. And then here are the different shows that you can you can grab. And then this the show, these are all shows from uh, season one. And then obviously season two, or it's two is these, and then three, and then down below you can actually have seasons four and five. And so the, the shows do vary as you go along. So whoever goes first uh, has, they can just take action. This is the game where each person takes an action, and then the person to the left goes, and so on and so forth. And you, that's, the, that's the process that you take. Um, you can develop, your, your actions are as follows. Uh, you can uh, develop your show, you can sign a star, you can land an ad, you can take a network card, you can attach a star or an ad to a show, or you can drop and budget. And what drop and budget is basically it says you're done with the turn. And when you drop and budget, you take your token and you put it into the furthest left spot on this place. So when you drop and budget, you actually get money uh, when you do it. And then like and then the, you, that'll be the turn order for the next one. So you know it's kind of an important aspect uh, of the game that like if you wait you know you might be taking more actions than everybody else but you're going to go last then and so it's knowing when to you know cut your uh, losses if you will and, and, and grab the money uh, is an important decision that you have to make as you play the game so going through the different actions developing a show is very very simple developing a show is you just choose a show you know, like so, and then you're gonna you're gonna pay a cost for the show. This one costs a dollar, and so you know, I've just got poker chips that I'm using for the money here. But um, you know, so and this member is a prototype. There's gonna be tons of artwork and stuff that you're just not seeing on these cards once the game gets published. But so just kind of bear with me, and so. Uh, it has a, a dollar for this. It says what time it should be slotted in, and that's 10 p.m. And there's a rocket, so it's a science show, or like a science fiction show. And then this over here tells you that at the end of the season, it's going to cost you a dollar uh, to keep this show running. Basically, that's the cost that the, 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 the has to uh, maintain it. When it goes into reruns, it'll be worth two viewers. This star here says that it has to, if you're going to take this, you're going to develop this, you have to have a star to be, to be placed in this show. Otherwise, you can't take this. You can't develop this. You won't be able to put it unless you have a star to do that. Over here, these are the viewers. And if it's at 10 p.m. the first season, because that's when it should be, you'll get 10 viewers, 10 points, basically. And if you don't, it's worth 8. The second season, you're going to get 12. And the third and fourth season, it's going to tank. It's going to drop down to 1. And so that's this is something you're going to want, maybe, right away. But... Like, when you start getting towards the third season, you're going to want to cancel it. Put something else out there. Because it's actually going to get you more with the reruns uh, after the fact in that situation. So, if you develop this, you just pay the, pay the dollar. And then you take this, and you're going to put it into the 10 o'clock show like that. Take this, and then you flip it like so to show that... So you have the rerun on the top, and you're going to put that in your reruns. And remember, you do start with one ad and one uh, star. And so I haven't landed a major star or anything like that. So you have a star, and then what you do is then you just kind of slide it in like that. And you notice that the star is going to add one viewer to that, and so you can just see that. Now, if I had uh, before, and I'm just, I'm just going to leave that there, but just uh, bear with me. I'm going to put this back. 
So one of the other things you can do is you can sign a star. And so you can look over here, there's the, the five stars that are available. And some of them are just kind of straightforward. Like, here's this guy, uh, you know, if you know it costs you three dollars, he, he he it's going to charge you uh, one dollar just to main you know like pay his salary. But notice he's like three three one one. He's like a pretty popular guy who shouts all the time. And you could if you hired him and then you got that show, uh, you could add that on like so. And then obviously you'd be scoring more points with that particular actor. Now some of these stars actually have, in this case, the former comedian turned dramatist and it says rotate unless this show is a sitcom or a drama so if you had this star like in your green room and you attached it to a show that wasn't one of those you'd have to rotate it like so and then you'd have him only gaining one 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 and one however let's just for the sake of argument say i didn't take this particular uh show and Maybe I took, you know, like one of these two comedies, like Old Folks Complaining or that Wacky TSA Agent. So like maybe the Wacky TSA Agent was my show that I developed for 9 p.m. And let's just move that down there. So like, so we had it. And then I had this star because of the fact that I, you know, it is a comedy and I have it. I wouldn't have to rotate it. And then I could add this one. And so the starting 9 p.m. So note he's worth an extra three. And notice how the changes as, as it goes on. And so maybe that would be the show that I developed for my 9 p.m. slot on my network. Pretty straightforward. Now you notice I've I've left a blank in those spots where I've taken that. Unlike a lot of games where like you replace the blank, in these games you don't, this networks you don't uh, fill, in the, fill in the spot, which is important to note because basically that's why the turn order matters a lot because you want to be able to get the things that are important. Now you can land an ad when you land an ad like this one, Professional Typing Consultants. Right away when you take it, because you land the ad, you got a contract, they pay you this money. So you get that money as soon as you land an ad. If you attach the ad to a show, you gain plus one dollar. Now, if you have and that matters, and one of these, now you can't just put an ad on anything. You have to have actually a, uh, an option to do it. The Cyber Slug versus Mecha Earthworm, you can see actually down here it says you have to have an ad to add to it. And so in this case, like you'd add it on like that. And then so it costs you a dollar for this show to be on, but it's gonna make you a dollar as well. So this one's gonna be a net of zero, something that you you know probably want. Another option you have in this old folks complaining, you can see that this little symbol down here, you could have either a star or an ad on this one. So that would work as well. You could just add that on there, pretty straightforward. Uh, sometimes, just like the same thing as well, like the sassy salad dressings, it'll actually say rotate unless the show is on at 8 p.m. So if you had to rotate this, you'd rotate it, it'll only give you plus one dollar instead of plus two dollars. So those fall under the same categories as well. They're going to have little descriptors and little changes on there. Um, other, the other thing you can do is you can just take a network card. Taking a network card, you just take it. Uh, it, it there's no cost for these. So some of them are just really straightforward. Um, immediately get $5. Now there's all these symbols down here, and I apologize, I'm not going to go through that. This is for when you're playing with like two players. It's to like, uh, so certain actions happen to get rid of cards and whatnot. I advise you to go read the rules and check that out. I, I'm just not going to go into the two player version of the game. Uh, the, the exclamation point on there just tells you that this you immediately take the action and it happens. And that's what you do with that. Some of those same things like ad acquisition, draw two ads. So you're drawing two new ads, choose one to keep, get money from the other, and put it on the bottom of the ad deck. So you just get a free ad with this particular network card. Pretty good network card. Some cards just are like if you played lots of uh, Euro games, you know, at the end of the game, score two viewers points for every show you have in one genre of your choice. So if you've got a ton of shows in both your reruns, what you're playing, and also in your archives, you could say, I, I went really heavy on the, dra the dramas. And so you can get, you know, two extra points for each drama that you have at the end of the game when you have that. Some of them 
And that's what this symbol means. Like at the end of the game, that's what you would do with the card. And some of them, the last type, is this, this little infinity. When you take it, you just have a power. It's something that continues on. So this one says spend one dollar less every time you develop a show. However, you can discard it to spend zero when developing a show. So you could use it to basically just, you know, uh, get a show for free when you do a develop action, and then you discard it. And that's what this little infinity symbol up on the top goes. So uh, you are then, um, and then you can also, uh, other than taking all those cards, if you have a show that's sitting here and you have a ad or a star that's over there, um, you can attach that star or attach an ad to a show over in this location. Unlike, you know, when you, but remember, when you take something that demands uh, that you have a, a, a star, you then have to, like, put one on when it happens. You kind of get to do that without actually taking that attach the star action. Uh, so, and, and you can, like, you know, attach a star and, like, get rid of the star that you have and things like that. You, you don't have to, like, they aren't, like, stuck on there forever. You can change the ads or whatever. The only thing to remember is, is that if you have a thing where uh, when you put an ad onto a show or you, you put a star onto a show and you don't satisfy uh, the, the option as far as uh, making you rotate the card, if later the show or, or what ha like satisfies uh, what it needs, you can't then take the card back out and reverse it. Once it is placed, uh, whatever side, whether it's... Uh, upside down or face, uh, or right side up, it stays like that at that time. So there you go. Uh, then uh, you just then, and then I'll, as I said before, eventually people will, you know, decide uh, that they're done. And when they're done, they'll move that down and they'll take the extra money as far as that budget goes. And then you'll go to the second round. So you turn this over and you go like this. Now I want to show you this, that, um, same exact thing as far as when you place your your tokens down, because then you just move these like immediately over, you know, through the turn over turn order uh, function over here is to show that you know who's going first and and so on and so forth, and then you go from there. But you'll notice that on the, when you turn it over, you see ten, eight, four, one, but you also see viewers five, three, and one. If you are one of these people, you can choose one or the other. You can just gain five viewers or gain 10 bucks or whatever, you know, it, it, depending on which one. Now, when you get done with the season and you're getting ready to go to the next one, like so, uh, you will do your income, uh, which means that you have to pay uh, for all of your shows, pay for all of your stars, uh, and then also earn uh, your money from your ads and, or whatever that you're going to earn your money from. Um, if you can't pay so like let's say you only you you have to pay five and and you only make three so you had to pay two and you don't have enough money in your reserves to pay for that you lose viewers you, it isn't somewhere you go bankrupt or anything like that you just so if you only had one dollar you'd lose one viewer on the scoring track for every for every one that you can't pay um and then you would then score your viewers in your room so that's when you go through each one of these cards and figure out how many viewers each person gets and including your reruns as well now, it should be noted that there's this like this little checkerboard here on the players uh, uh, on each player guide. And this is like just a calculator for doing your score because it can kind of get a little bit confusing if you don't you know have a calculator or you you know math isn't your strongest point. So like okay, this one's worth 17, and then you would just go ahead and put 17, and then you say okay, that one, this next one is going to be worth 14. So then you just go okay, 14, and you count and so on and so forth. And so that's just a way for just a neat little thing that they added on there to help you calculate your score for each round uh then after that you age your shows and so like this is like so each one that's on there then you move the the the, the cubes down to the next row uh showing that you've aged your shows um you determine your turn order which we've already done and then you set up the next season where you you know replace the cards uh, and and you know get the new cards out there so everybody can then uh you know see what they have the option for to grab in that particular spot and then, you know, and then I said, as I said, with the archives, they go, in, you know, you, you move sh the, your reruns down to the archive section. Um, so now the, I did mention the genre bonus. If you manage to get uh, three or five genres uh, in, of one thing. So if you manage to get, you know, three science fiction shows uh, or five for that matter, uh, and that's 
either playing in reruns or in your archives. Once you get three or five, you immediately gain five viewers, just five free points. And then with three, uh, you get to either take one or two bonuses. You draw three star cards and pick one, or it, or you can draw three add cards. You can keep one and take the money, this, this number up here, from the other two. And then you put those two on the bottom of the deck. If you reach five like genres, uh, you go ahead and draw three network cards and you can you you can then keep one of those uh, or you can exchange money uh, for viewers at the rate of five dollars for every three viewers basically if you've made a lot of money you can turn that in for points once you have five genres and that's a really good way to make points when you get into the later seasons because uh, you may have like built up a nice uh, you know stockpile of money and then that's a great way to bounce up a great deal of points at that point as well but the game just continues until you finally get through all of the seasons once you get through with all the seasons uh whoever obviously has the most viewers is the most successful network and they go ahead and win the game of the networks so there you go that's how you play it is a a fairly straightforward game and the fun part of this game is the exploration of it for me there's tons of cards there's tons of different combinations tons of shows and things like that and it, it's it's exciting to kind of see the game develop uh, as you play and it's one of the one of those really good um like medium kind of medium light uh, euros in my opinion that the theme really comes through uh with with the whole play it tells you a story it, it, it makes you feel like you're actually running a, a tv network if you will so but i'll talk more about that uh in my conclusion all right that is how you play uh the networks i hope uh that was informative for you and i hope uh you i gave you a pretty good idea of how the game is played uh if you have watched uh, my videos before and i'm assuming some of you have uh you know that i've talked about tend your garden type games where basically each person kind of just creates their little in, uh, victory point engine uh, independently and uh, and then you kind of watch as other people do their thing and you watch as you do your thing and whoever makes the the prettiest and best engine in the game wins the game and and I, I, I people think I hate those types of games uh, Richard Ham basically said that about me uh, but I know I don't I, I do dig those games I think there's like a lot of fun with like exploring that type of game and trying to like you know do the best possible make the best possible decisions make the best possible actions when you possibly can and, and then and kind of race against each other to do that and, and this game isn't technically really fully attend your own garden type game there is some stuff you can do to mess with other people you can kind of see directions people are going things that they might want and and you know the turn order is important so you'll you'll get ahead of them uh, and you will then you'll know, be able to grab like uh, shows that you think they'd want that are going to fill out their genres or uh, you know, grab grab an artist or an ad that would have worked perfectly for one of their shows. And the thing is, is that it's rarely a suboptimal move for you as well. Usually, you can find a really good use for that particular card anyway, uh, even if it wasn't um, you know the like 100% perfect fit uh, for you. Plus, the network cards actually allow you to to mess with other players as well. There's different actions in there that allow you to like when somebody's taking a show, you can just play the card and and you can pay them three dollars and take the show out of their hand and then and then take it for yourself take it for yourself stuff like that you know and there's cards in there like that that allow you to mess with other play people what to do but for the most part this game is very unintrusive it, it isn't uh, there's isn't a lot of take that going on there isn't a lot of uh you know as i say stomping somebody else's garden down while you uh giggle with glee uh this is a exploration game for me this is one of those games where um i know i'm gonna get about 10 to 15 really really good plays out of it just because of all the different cards and all the different combinations as i said in the gameplay portion and i'm going to enjoy building my little network empire i'm going to enjoy like using the certain cards and i mean once you know when certain cards are coming out you're like oh you know i've got to plan ahead for that card or hopefully i get that one and and things like that you know and it's just and i and i do like those games they do have for me anyway they have a a, a limited number of plays i mean still 15 plays of a board game is is huge you know that's a ton of plays uh, in my opinion but i mean and but then you know it's like it's it's one of those things that's just very very satisfying it's very very fun to play the game scott nicholson once told me um uh that like he really enjoys games um that that 
he feels like he's building something. And then when he said that, I kind of realized I feel the same way. I mean, I, I like the fact that you have that little tableau and you have the different aspects. And so it actually feels like you're doing time slots, you know, for, for your different shows. I mean, you are, you know, so it really feels, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I've never worked as, as a, a person in a, in a network TV, but I mean, it feels kind of like that. It feels like, okay, we need to go out and get a star. We need to go out and get an ad for that. We need to, you know, we need to, we need to trash this show. It's doing horribly now. Nobody likes it. Get into reruns. Let's get something else. Get into the syndication, you know? And so, and this is one of those games also that like the people are going to make jokes and you're going to make, you're, when you see things like that one actor who yells all the time, you know, it's like you, you'll start doing a Shatner voice or something like that. And, and so, uh, you know, the game kind of lends itself to telling you a story and it also lends itself to like you like reflecting and, and talking about the shows. And then you talk about other TV shows and it's a very much a very, you know, because the game isn't super heavy and intense, um, because the, the, the rules are very, you know, not exactly easy, but they're very straightforward and very easy to understand, um, uh, that you're able to have that interaction, that fun time at the table, which is enjoying your friend's company, enjoying your family's company, and, and, and the, the, the game is the point of you for being there, but the point, you know, you're at the table to play the game, but the real point is for you to be there to enjoy uh, the people that you're with. And, and I, I love games like this. I liken this to like a Pillars of the Earth type game. You know, like one of those games that, that is always going to feel comfortable uh, playing it. I know I'm going to have fun. I know it's going to it's, it's going to be enjoyable for everybody at the table. And I know there's going to be at least a handful of things that are going to happen during the game that we're going to remark upon, we're going to find humorous, and, and it's just going to add even more enjoyment uh, to the actual uh, game, the actual, uh, like... Uh, the actual experience of sitting at the table. So, um, for all those reasons, I mean, I just these are the types of games that I love. These these are the euros that I really enjoy. When I'm when I don't want a a, a mind numbing, brain crunching euro, this is the stuff that I want to take off my shelf and 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 open up and and set up and play because I I know I'm going to have a blast when I when I when I have fun with it. So there you go. That is uh, the networks. If you have any questions about the game, please ask away. I'll try to answer those to the best of my ability. I really can't wait until I've seen some of the art and, and, and where they're going with it. I mean, like the, the, the kind of cartoony art that you see in the front. I, I really can't wait to see all the artwork and all the cards. I'm really looking forward to that. I think this is going to be definitely one of those games that when you set up, people are going to see it and it's going to be one of those games that pop and people are going to want to stop and watch and, and like, what's this game? What is it? You know, it's, it's one of those ga crowd gather games, if you will. But um, regardless, thank you uh, very much for taking the time uh, to watch this video. And uh, until next time, uh, this is me, the Undead Viking, telling you to have yourself one heck of an awesome day. All right. Bye-bye.